surface area example. What is the area of the surface? So in this example, question says, find the area of the surface which is cut it from the bottom of paraboloid. The paraboloid is given to us as x squared plus y squared equals to z. And it's cut it by the plane z equals to 4. Very good. So let us take a look at the graph. What's the graph look like? We have a paraboloid and we have a plane. It's not that difficult to graph this guy x, y, and z. The paraboloid opens upward and it continues. And then you have a plane, z equals to four, that cuts this paraboloid. So this is z equals to four. The projection, the shadow in xy plane is going to be just a disk. If you plug in z here, you have the radius equals to 2. And take the ranges between 0 to pi. So let's just go back to the example. What are we going to do? We're going to apply the formula. We know that the surface area follows a double integral of the magnitude of gradient of f divided by the magnitude of gradient of f that p, p is the unit vector to the region dot dn over region r. And this is region r that you're dealing with. So step by step, we're going to calculate each one of these. First of all, f of x, y, and z is given to us as x squared plus y squared minus c. So the gradient of f is equal to 2x, 2y, and negative 1. Well, obviously, you can calculate the magnitude, which is equal to the square root of 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 1. What about gradient of f dot unit vector p? p is unit vector normal to r by definition. When we talked about the formula in previous video, we represent p as the unit vector normal to r. So the gradient of f dot p This guy is going to be 2x, 2y, and negative 1. And p as the unit vector, this unit vector is going to be 0, 0, and 1. Why is that? So take a look at your region in three dimension. This is your region R. You're looking for a unit vector normal to this region. This is your vector P. The very first component and second component must be equal to zero because it's parallel to Z axis. To 
the z axis. And since it's a unit vector, the last component must be equal to 1. The magnitude of p is equal to square root of 0 squared plus 0 squared plus 1 squared, which is just 1. So it's a unit vector. So you're finding the dot product between the gradient of f and p, 0, 0, and 1. 2x times 0 is 0, 2y times 0 is 0, negative 1 times 1, negative 1. So this guy is negative 1. But in the formula, we need to find the magnitude. So the magnitude of gradient of f dot p is equal to just 1. So we have all the information that we need. The surface area is equal to the double integral over region r. The magnitude of gradient of f is square root of 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 1 divided by, we found the magnitude of the gradient of f dot p, which is 1, d, a. The rest is just going back to double integral and doing the calculation. Here you can use polar coordinates. This surface area is equal to the double integral, 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2. And here you have the square root of x is r cosine theta, y is r sine theta, just substitute them here. And don't forget dA becomes r dr d theta, the area element. So here you have 4 r squared plus 1 r dr d theta, is just the simple u sum. u is equal to 4 r squared plus 1, du is 8 r dr. So you're going to multiply it by 8 and divide it by 8. This becomes 1 over 8. And here, what do we have? Can we separate these? Of course, we can separate this. We get 2 pi. And by Fobini's theorem, since 4 r squared plus 1 has nothing to do with theta, we can separate this and take the integral separately. And we have u to a half. So here you get 2 thirds, 4 r squared plus 1 to 3 halves and r ranges between 0 to 2. So, so far we have four, pi over 4 times 2 thirds, so you're going to get pi over 6, and here if we substitute 2, you get 17, square root of 17 minus 1. So this is the area of the surface.